have to say, uh, when I started, I was quite scared of paddling. And then I went through a period where I paddled a lot and I became quite comfortable and I probably wasn't as scared. But I think in terms of teaching other people, I have tried pretty hard to understand what it's like for people who are learning how to kite and what might concern them or kind of see it through other people's eyes as well. And for me, it's great to be able to share it. Like, personally, I love rivers and I find them a great, um, great place to go and be with people and just be outdoors and in quite beautiful and inspiring places, I think. When you're on a river, um, you're really there, you're pretty much locked into that environment. You spend a lot of time focusing on the river itself and on the surrounding kind of landscape. And it's a great opportunity for people to, to focus on that in a pretty uh, intense and focused way rather than having their attention taken away by other things, particularly on some of the longer trips. So when we go for a day, two days, or even on longer trips, people are out there for a long time and their attention's not being taken away from the river. And when we're out there, the students certainly develop a connection to those places and develop some feelings for those places and become quite comfortable in those places. And I think that's kind of reflected in the way people uh, see themselves on the river and the way that they enjoy that particular river environment and the way they're able to be in that river environment with other people and kind of sharing those learning opportunities in that, uh, in that environment is, is pretty unique really. So what's it like spending eight days with people on one river? It's, um, it's testing at times because people go about things different ways and you're always going to face difficulties but at the end of the day, if you just paddled the river by yourself, it'd just be you and a river and the experience would be nowhere near as good, exciting, challenging, rewarding or anything like that. So. Yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty amazing trip and a pretty wonderful place in the middle. It's by far the best river that I've paddled on so far. Um, great group of people, great leaders, definitely learned a lot. Um, it's been a great trip and didn't swim. Bonus. Nice warm feeling having everyone around that you that you've like grown to love, I suppose. Yeah. I don't really need to stress so much when I'm on the river about paddling or the right line or something because like the river just keeps going anyway. I don't know, it's just a nice thought, I like it, I like the thought of it just continuing when we're not here. spend time with everyone that you've gotten close to and just the sort of nurturing relationships that were developed on the river between everyone, everyone looking out for each other and um, being able to share the special place with each other through the sunshine, through the snow, through the big rapids and through the wave trains is really nice. <laughs> go to some really cool places that no one else would go to and see some cool river characteristics like the big gorges and we'd you know go through and paddle in our crafts and um, got to see some really cool wildlife we saw a platypus and some really beautiful birds and yeah got to follow the river all the way down and be with one with the river. <laughs> The 
For us, the river is like a learning environment, a place where we can go and uh, explore the river environment itself. And in Australia, those river environments are pretty unique and it's a good chance to explore both the kind of physical and ecological side of the rivers, but also the cultural and historical side of the rivers. And then what we're doing out there when we're there is actually learning about uh, that environment and learning about it kind of in situ, so actually not just learning about it uh, theoretically, which we do back in the classroom, but actually going out and exploring those things as well. So it works in really well with a couple of other good subjects that uh, a lot of the students do, like regional catchment studies or ways of knowing nature as well. It's really important they've got an academic understanding about those, those parts of the river environment, but also that they're capable and comfortable to look after themselves in the river, but also take other people down the river. So I think um, spending time on the rivers and spending time in that environment is really important in terms of being able to allow other people or facilitate opportunities for other people to explore those environments as well in the way that we would like them to. I think because of the way the rivers flood and they do things on their own and they, they kind of sort themselves out, they are pretty inspiring places to be, really, all the time. I'm never not amazed by going on. I would find it very difficult to not be able to go on rivers. I don't think I would let myself get in that situation very easily. I'll probably get old enough that I find it very hard to do. And, but I think I'll always live, you know, to be able, in order to be able to somewhere where I can go on rivers, I think.